Here's why the venerable 1998 to 2003 Toyota Sienna will ace the small overlap crash test. I've noticed that in frontal crash tests, including the small overlap test, structural collapse of the safety cage of the occupant compartment is usually caused by the hard, relatively incompressible front wheel intruding into the footwell and firewall slash bulkhead, pushing the A pillar backwards. Here's the Dateline NBC clip back from 1998 showing the then new Toyota Sienna starting to drive its front wheel out in the moderate overlap test. Car manufacturers have often contended that these institute tests are too severe, run at too high a speed, and that designing a car to withstand these forces would cost them and consumers a lot of extra money. So could all of those problems with the old Toyota minivan be fixed without adding massive costs to the vehicle? Just watch. This is the 98 Toyota minivan, the Sienna. Three, two, one. It's looking very good uh, initially. The head has come back square into the head restraint. From outward appearances, the Sienna has passed the offset test with flying colors. The structure's doing a very good job. Uh, even the wheel is coming out rather than getting driven inboard even the wheel is coming out rather than getting driven inboard even the wheel is coming out rather than getting driven inboard let's look at the dummy readings there is no injury risk here no significant injury risk the message is that contrary to what some automakers have been claiming it can be done you can get really good performance. It doesn't have to cost money. It just has to be a priority. Toyota has gone from having one of the worst performing minivans in the offset test to the best. If you look at the Previa at the top, you see the steering wheel. See how violently it moves upward? In contrast, down below, it's all well controlled. Now look at this comparison. The old Toyota on the left and the new Toyota on the right. You look at the position of the dummy, the position of the steering wheel jammed up against the roof. In contrast, you look at the Sienna, there's hardly any evidence that's been in a crash. Please note that the first generation Toyota Sienna wasn't tested in the small overlap test because the test hadn't come out yet. In the small overlap test, there are greater concentrations of forces compared to those in the moderate overlap test. In a hypothetical small overlap test, the wheel on the 1998 Sienna would pop out completely due to the greater initial concentration of force. The wheel popping out would remove most of the concentration in force. That would leave the remainder of the crash be no more demanding than the moderate overlap test. The 1998 Sienna totally aced the moderate overlap test with the perfect score. As a result, the first gen Sienna would also get the top rating in the challenging small overlap test. I can't wait for the 98 Sienna to be tested in the small overlap test. I'm so excited to watch it pass with flying colors. That way, it can prove that an unassuming 22 year old budget friendly van can still truly be the safest most reliable, most comfortable car ever. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to Zero Zero Crash Test. Remember to ring that notification bell.